Good afternoon. I hope you can see me. I hope you can hear me. I hope the acoustics are okay. It's Wednesday, 4pm movement snack. That's Wednesday, the 23rd of June. And uh, yes, Super G, thank you for reminding us. Today is our month, um, a month anniversary, if that's a word. 23rd of every month marks the anniversary of of our month day for Make Movement Your Mission. 15 months today. Uh, I probably will say that again at some point during this preamble. As you can see, I'm in a different, like, different location, secret location. I've been battling with angles and external supports. Hope you can see me, hope you can see, hear me. I can see some people have arrived. Could you just let me know that all, uh, all technology is tickety-boo and working your end? A thumbs up or a, a thumbs down? Or, or give me a sign, some kind of sign will greatly ease my mind at the moment. Hmm. Or maybe my comments aren't working. Maybe I'm talking to myself and you're trying to tell me that you can't hear me or see me. Who knows? Let me just have a little glance at uh, another device here just to check, just to check that all is as it should be on the Make Movement You're Missing page because I can see there's quite a few of you there and I haven't had a message yet. Nope, I'm definitely live. Okay, I'm gonna assume that either comments aren't working or you don't wanna to talk to me. Uh, and I'm struggling with the clock. 57, 58, three minutes to go. This is the preamble, three minutes to go, hoping for some headlines from yourself, but maybe not. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's remarkably quiet in the comments, which tells me it's, it's not all going to plan, but, I've appeared on the page, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going regardless, and and maybe listen out for a message. I'm gonna keep talking anyway. It's day three of Splat, so we have progressed a little bit. Uh, the focus this week on our sway and coordination sequence has been around hand movements, active Splat, grip, grasp, and the release. So the changing in pace and and. Uh, just dynamic of the movement really between the arm and the hand itself. So keeping flowing wrists, keeping flowing arms, but having a more active splat, um, splat, bounce, whatever you want to call it. So our usual uh, two, three minutes of circ boost followed by our coordination sequence this week, day three, and then followed by our usual all over body stretches. Um, and I'm keep looking at the clock and if I'm, I'm nervously a little bit agitated because uh, I'm still double checking that the technology is actually working. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, right. So my comments are working on this phone, but not this one. So hello, Maddie. Thank you for your comments. I can see some of you are indeed there. Uh, day three of Splat. OK, and I can see comments on another device. Just not this one. Sometimes the technology does that, doesn't it? So I'm reading comments from here. Uh, my angles are sorted, Ken. Thank you very much. Hello, Diane. Hello, Miss Perry. Change of scenery, Chris. Yes, indeed. Uh, secret location. The, the, there is no secret, really. But, you know, just, you know, just in a different place. En route to somewhere else, actually. Uh, hello, Carol's in from Glasgow. Kathy's in. Thank you, Sandra, for the 1559. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm, I'm watching myself on, an, on another device because on this phone, the sound doesn't work. And clearly today on this phone, the sound works, but the comments don't work. So, crikey, te technology overload. But it is, uh, we're going to do it. I'm going to do a three, two, one. <laughs> And say good afternoon. My name is Bex Townley from Later Life Training. 4 p.m. movement snack today. 15 months today we've been doing this. Still 15 months. Many of you are still enjoying movement snacking. Thus, therefore, whence we are still here. Right, so can I just say then, um, as you can see, I'm in a different location today. And I have been battling a little bit for appropriate external support just to be clear, in your area, check it's clear, check you have a sturdy, stable chair and that you have a piece of furniture, fixed and firm, that you can put your hands on. I'm kind of stuck with a bit of a window frame today, the frame, not the window. So do have an extra check that your external support is appropriate for you. 
because I'm struggling a little bit today. Right, here we go. Ready for circ boost, then a bit of splats, some sway, and then a stretch. Ready to go. I do, however, think this may be the nicest chair we've ever had in a movement snack. I don't know, answers on a postcard. So here's the standing prompt checks for circ boost. Um, Carry on in sit if you know what's coming. Carry on in stand if you know what's coming. This is, this is the only bit of support I can find in this space today. So this is the frame. So I'm going to have the outside of my hand on the frame there, about hip height a little bit higher, equal weight across feet, more lengthen and lift. So be more active through the centre and start the steady circulation boost so remember this is your pace it's steady pace and looking to involve as much as the ankles feet and toes as you can peeling the feet off i'm using the support here you may have your support to the front of you so you might be in this position with the support here as when you feel ready bring in that steady arm like so and of course if you feel confident bring that all together External support, close to hand if you should need. Carry on, tickety-boo, here are the seated prompts. So if you are, oh, this is com more comfortable than uh, the chairs in my, I wonder if my mum's watching. Sorry, mum. Up into active sit position. And you may prefer to stay here and start your circ boost march here. Keeping the, the elbow slightly bent, <clears throat> steady on the left, steady on the right, but, 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 if you are going to be on your feet at some point in the day, you might want to take a hip walk forward, lift and shift, lift and shift, bring <clears throat> your buttocks a little bit further forward, and now involve the legs as well. So from this circulation boosting march activity, two, three minutes maximum, is all fairly steady, comfortable, doable, and it's your choice of your combination of those moving parts. If you start to feel you sag and slip in the middle, take a pause, take a breath, have a rest, and then build that supported posture position again. How does that feel? From this circ march, you should circ boost march, you should feel comfortable and rhythmical, and you're gonna get a light lift in the heart rate. So enjoy those deeper breaths as well. So that's our circulation boost element done. Let's move on now to <clears throat> our coordination, our, our more thinking uh, sequence of movements that we are on day three today. I'm gonna take the first set in seated. If it's the first day you've joined us, I suggest you do the same. Master the arm movement and then come up to stand when you feel comfortable. If you are in stand, and you're confident to be in stand, hip width apart, have some external support close to hand, and we're going to start on the single arm splat movement, which is grab, grab, reach, and uh, an extension, shall we say. I'm going to take it in seated. Sit or stand, you choose. One arm, maybe pick your, your better arm first, so rehearse it on your better side, and then onto the other side if you feel you have a difference in, in left and right, shall we say. So here we go, we've got a slow arm but a bit of an extra oomph through the hand for splats. So that's three splats on one arm. Lift and lengthen, same on the other side. So you're trying to get a, a slow, smooth quality through the arm. Everything is under shoulder height, so just three on each arm and try to find a little bit more uh, force if you like, a little bit more emphasis through the hand, as if you're trying to flick water off your, off your fingers. So three on each side, keep the slow moving arm with a bit of oomph on the, on the hand. Uh, and the wrist is in there as well, and the arm and the shoulder and the upright posture is in there as well. Okay, one side, let's progress that. So back on our three splats. There's the three splats. And on the third one, we're going to turn upper underhand and release the splat upwards. So again, another bit of a pushy up there, a turn and a slow down and pause. Same on the other side. Rhythmical three splats with a bit of force through the hands. On the third, a turn and upward splat, lead of a push and then a slow down. So you're changing 
the dynamics of the movement, the kind of the pace and the emphasis. Let's go round again, keep the active center. If you need to pause and rest, don't wait for me to say, keep your breathing usual, normal, regular. Here we go again, there's three splats on one side. On the fourth, it's an upward turn and a push and a release and then a slow return down. So on the other side. So changes of rhythms, changes of, of force and momentum there. And on that upward splat, as I call it, you can go for an extra reach and a turn as well. Keep that routine in seated. There's a, an addition in seated if you would like. Looks like this. Three regular splats an upward splat and a push away return. Keep that hand slightly in front of uh, the body. So we're not going behind. Same on the other side, three regular splats, an upward, a change of pace, at this time pressing away and down. Here's the standing options if you would like. So the arms, the upper limb are all the same. Just before um, we bring the arms and the, the legs together, a quick rehearsal of the legs if you would like. Take up your external support and rehearse. Comfortable forward step, back heel push off, slow return, pick the toe off and back to base. Now over time, you'll be more mindful with the specifics of that foot placement. I'm gonna change legs now. So I'm gonna rehearse a heel strike, through the foot, the back heel comes up, slow return on the back heel, front toe comes up, back to base. So you're finding your feet. Have a look at the arms and legs together and then decide if this is an option for you. Use that external support if you should need. We have three splats, one, two, three. On the fourth it splats up, but I take a step forward, my back heel is off, it's a slow lower with the hand and the, he uh, the heel of the foot and then lift the toe to come back to base. I just want to show you what's happening on that back foot. So I've got my three splats, an upward push and then a slow return on that back heel. So it's, a, it's an oomph up and a control down, pick the toe off, come back to base. For me to change sides, I would need to step round and add my back to you and take the other hand here. So you may need to do that or the support may be in a place where you don't need to turn around. I'm going to do the other hand here. Of course, only bring both hands away if you feel confident. Here we go, three splats. On the fourth, it's an upward splat and a step and then there's the slow down. So you're sitting, you're sliding your hands down a window, the heel comes down slowly, the toe comes back up, back to base. One, last, last round. Upward splat, slowly lower. So you're trying to find a different pace and dynamics of the hand, the arm, the upward splat, the step push and then the slow control down, back to base. Okay, so it's the, it's the subtle changes between where the pace, where the force and where the control is. For now, let's move into stretch series. Either come down to a sit or stay in stand if you prefer. Let's take a couple of backward shoulder rolls just to prepare shoulder blades and upper back to come into our chest stretch position. So if you're in sit, you might want to slide one back, then the other through the hands. Take the chest stretch position there. Let me come a little bit closer here on my knees. Lift and open, there's the chest stretch position. Position. Take a pause. You should, keep your, you should be able to feel that you can keep your breath usual, normal, comfortable. If that feels that kind of hinders your breath, then come out of that stretch sooner. Or don't go quite so squeezy back. So we're trying to open the chest, the shoulders are down and we're literally looking to oppose, if you like, all of our flex bendy type positions from the day. Helps with upright postures, helps with breathing. If the posture is more open and lifted and upright, this will greatly contribute to a better balance also. Remember the head is on top of the trunk. So if the trunk is forward, the head will be forward. This greatly shifts and compromises balance positions. 
All right, let's just take a few, uh, few couple of uh, freestyling shoulders and then just start to feel your way around this movement here of getting your hand to the back of your head. It might be that you're comfortable coming to the ear and that the elbow is fairly low. You may feel that you can go a little bit higher and we're just easing in and out of this movement, this position slowly. Uh, you might want to be more specific to take it to a fingertip bend, ease it up and then go for a squeeze. We're just, can you see, I'm just trying to get this elbow a little bit more up over time. This will be really specific and individual to each of you. We're stretching the muscles on the back of the arms here and literally looking to free up movement here in the shoulder. Now you will know if you have any uh, aches or pains in those shoulders, so keep it comfortable for you and just take it to a range of motion that is comfortable for you. We're just keeping these movements in your day. Goes without saying, these movements here contribute towards washing, dressing, any type of activity that requires us to sort out our hair and our collars. Side of trunk now, extending that shoulder movement into more upward reaching movement. So have you, have you reached to a higher level today? Uh, if yes, then you may have already got your, your dose of functional reach. If not, let's crowbar in a few minutes now. Take the first bit as we've done here and then ease the arm a little bit higher. If I just pin my sweatshirt there, you can see that you start to get tension down the side. This is literally what we're doing with the muscles down the side of the trunk. Two or three of these into position. There's the reach, 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 and slowly lower down. And if you're not comfortable with the arm being that high, take it lower. Here's some other options. You might want to support the arms there for a raise. If you're in standing and you're close to a wall, this can also help support that position. So you can reach, reach, reach there and then reach and slide back out again. So the wall could also offer support on the slide down. And we're literally trying to maintain and keep upward stretch movements, feeling comfortable, moving easier. So we've done the chest, we've done the back of the arm, we've done the upward side variations of. Now we've got two, uh, two important, significant stretch positions for the legs if you're in standing um, as part of your day. If you would like to join me for these uh, leg stretches, I invite you to return to sit. If you know what's kind of, if you if you know the options for stand, go for those. If legs aren't on your radar for improvement, you might prefer to stay with the upper body stretches or you may prefer to continue to rehearse splat if you prefer. For now, we have got a nice uh, profile position here in this room today. So you can really kind of see here the sideways movement, how we're trying to lift out of the hips, extend through the center, keep activity in the middle. There's my controlled step out. Take the knee off the lock just for comfort. Foot is fairly relaxed. Got my hand on the other arm here for support and I'm hinging forwards. So we use this word hinge to describe what's happening around the hip here. So um, the, the spine is stay, remaining straight and I'm hinging through the hips here. And as I do that, sliding the fingertips down, keeping the head and chest lifted and looking to improve the movement, the mobility to get hands down to feet. And you're going to feel this stretch sensation on the back of the thighs here comfortably so, nothing should be uncomfortable or painful. We move slowly in and out of these positions. Check that the posture is where you want it to be. Check that you're not in slump mode, lift, lengthen. Uh, imagine your trunk as a, as a drawbridge. It stays straight and it lowers down there. You can start to feel the stretch, the feeling of stretch around the thigh. And that's really what we want. You can control how much stretch you feel, depending on how much hinge you put in. And over time, if we do these frequently, if we kind of learn all of the moving parts and where they are best to be for you, 
we could hope to see some improvement in lower level reaching, reaching, bending and hip hinging. Uh, and if we can get better movement through these muscles and through the hips, all that stuff becomes easier. That's why we're doing the movement snacks. That's the back of the thigh. So what about back of the calves here, or the calf muscles, shall we say? The first position is the same, there. Take the knee off the lock just for comfort so that that knee isn't being pushed down into a straight, straight position. And then the moving part is the foot. Have a look at my foot here. The toe comes back and the heel presses forward. So the stretch sensation now is on back of the back of the calf, back of the leg. You will also feel some activity in front of the shin. We want that as well. These are the muscles that pull the toes up when we walk. So slowly in those positions, keep the active sits. You might want to step out, do a few, few foot pedals in between, have a pit stop when you need to. So even rehearsing, coming in and out of these active sit positions, we're building the stamina through the posture muscles. You are, are, are literally learning these, these positions for the body to be in, to, to get these stretch positions to work for you. If you're confident on your feet, with or without support, there's a standing option that you might want to, to go for. Using your external support, we can take that calf stretch position. There's the heel lowering here. We've just used this very movement in the, in the splat, in the splat uh, section. Toes are forwards, heels down. I've got the stretch in my lower leg, but also here in the hip. I can peel that off. If you feel you can take a little bit more stretch, then you might want to take a half a step back and then lower the heel with control again. And I hope you can see and feel this stretch with the hip at the front, with the calf, are all going to contribute to a more confident and longer stride. Don't forget to do both sides. You might feel that you have more movement on one side than the other. There's the one there. If I turn this uh, front on, just to show that when you take the step back, still keep the feet hip width apart. Let me just move this chair. So still keep the feet hip width apart. Make sure you're not going into tandem position. I think that's it. I might, there's no clock in this room, so I have no idea what the time is. Let's finish with a few shirt offs to bring all that together. You might want to take uh, some single shirt offs for that, just to bring in some trunk movement and some shoulder movement. And of course, finishing with some Bex hugs, brings in the upper back stretch positions. And you might want to crowbar in a few forearm stretch positions as well, especially if you've been gripping, grasping, or been in the garden. I have no idea what the time is. It's, uh, 19 minutes past four. Not too bad. Right, that's it. That's me done. Um, I will be from another different location tomorrow. And I think uh, I'm covering Dave's noon. I'll see you for a double. Oh, finally, my comments are working. Here they come at long last. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow at noon, I think, from some Wi-Fi from somewhere, wherever I can grab it. Uh, that's it. Keep on splatting, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.